we've all done it, we've all regretted it. And eventually, we'll do it again. So what is the very best remedy for a deadly dose of hot chilies? Tori and Grant put their tongues on the line so you never have to. So we have our chilies. We have a whole range of mythical cures from the fan site. I say we eat the chilies, see which of the cures work the best. And when I say we, I mean you guys, because I need to administer the test scientifically. But doesn't everybody know that milk is the best cure for a hot chili amount? Which we will test, but there are a lot of cures that are not quite as predictable as milk. Like what? Oh, well, water, beer, toothpaste, uh, wasabi, petroleum jelly. Petroleum jelly? Who eats petroleum jelly? To win the war, it helps to know your enemy. Dave DeWitt's written over 30 books on fiery foods, and he understands your pain. This is a chemical reaction. Just like you have taste buds in your mouth, you also have capsaicin receptors, capsaicin being the ingredient that makes chili peppers hot. Capsaicin molecules from the chili bond with receptors inside the mouth. These same receptors also register pain from heat. That's why it feels like your tongue's on fire. So we're planning on testing this ourselves. This is something that's been on my mind. Can you die from eating a chili that's too hot? You could die. It would probably be um, a suffocation. Why suffocation? Just your lungs would just completely shut down if you consume too much of it. Having picked his pack of peppers, Grant delivers a bag full to the Mythbusters kitchen. It's up to Carrie to choose his poison. Habaneros are way too hot, and I have a feeling Grant's going to be a little sensitive to this as it is, so I'm starting at a middle ground, which is just the basic plain old jalapeno. I'm going to chop off the stems, and I'm going to put the whole jalapeno in there, seeds, skin, everything. Carrie picks the mildest chili she has. They're all concerned for lab rat number one, and that would be Grant. Grant doesn't like spicy food. Grant doesn't eat spicy food. So he's bound to suffer way worse than this. <coughs> Oblivious to all warnings, Grant and Tori set the scene. This is to try to make us ignore the pain of the peppers. <laughs> it's a party. Then get dressed for success. Sombreros, boots, and bandoliers. A desperately cliched battle looms between the tragically uncool, the undeniably hot, and these two idiots. Go ahead, make my chili. Back at the cantina, Tori and Grant prepare to suck it up in the name of science. Once again, I find another way to humiliate myself on Mythbusters. Carrie's blended a not-so-secret sauce of pure jalapenos. Potential hot chili cures suggested by fans range from beer to toothpaste to petroleum jelly. Petroleum jelly in your mouth? Are you kidding me? I'm not doing that. But that's the least of Grant's concerns. This is an interesting situation for me because it will be the spiciest thing I've ever eaten and the most of any spice ever. So um, I hope my head doesn't explode. Chili experts swear that rich dairy products offer the best pain relief. The theory is that the fat in dairy helps neutralize the pain caused by the oily capsaicin. Anything too watery, it's believed, just won't do the job. So milk is set to be our control cure. All right. How are we going to do this? Now we're going to start off with whole fat milk. This is our tried and true, ready to soothe your mouth control. We know it works. You're going to put half a teaspoon of this jalapeno puree in your mouth, swirl it around for 10 seconds. Now, after that, you're gonna spit it out. Spit. Then you're gonna wait 30 seconds. Ah. 10, ah. 11, <laughs> and go for the cure. Milk. 
we need a rating system between one and 10 on how well this cure works. This is our control will be five, so it'll be less or more than the milk. So whatever relief the boys feel from milk, they'll rate a five on a scale of one to 10. If any subsequent cure is better than milk, they'll rate it six or over. I don't even need milk. It's not really, it's really not that hot. But there's a problem. It's not so much Grant squealing like new tires at a car park. It's that Tori hasn't raised a sweat. And you can't soothe what doesn't hurt to begin with. You know, I don't know why the jalapenos aren't affecting me that much. Um, I mean, I do eat a lot of spicy foods. And Grant, as we all recall, does not. As far as, as the milk goes, I'm, I'm happy with that as a cure, but I really can't imagine more pain in my mouth than that. Let's just say I don't really have to experience that ever again in my life. Actually, he does over and over again. But Grant won't have to eat Carrie's deadly new paste of much hotter habanero peppers made real special just for Tori. Oh my God, it's serious as like napalm. Look at this stuff. To put that into perspective, the bell pepper scores zero on the standard Scoville heat scale. Jalapenos range from 2,500 to 10,000 units. Habaneros from 80,000 to 300,000. And the Bud Jalokia, the world's hottest pepper, rings the bell at one million. Tori should now feel the burn just as badly as Grant. And once that burn kicks in, the first thing most of us reach for is plain old water. I think the theory behind the water is very simple. You have a fire, you throw water on it. So the boys suck, then spit their respective pepper poisons. You've got 30 seconds to wait before you can wait <coughs> the water. With each passing second, the pain increases, this time for both of them. But will water be a better cure than Two, milk? One, cure it. I have to say that's about a three, because once the water goes away, it stops working. See how, like, even after it's gone? Yeah. All right, let's give it a three and a half. So water doesn't cut the mustard. But thanks to a rash of seriously strange fan site cures, there's worse, much worse, to come. Tori and Grant are putting their tongues and lips on the line to test the best ever bomb for hot chili mouth burn. So far, they've testified that full fat milk beats tap water. They're waiting a full day between each test, so their mouths get a chance to recover. Now, for two cures, we all so desperately want to work. Beer and spirits. The idea here is that the alcohol in the beer will dissolve the capsaicin better than just plain water. There's not a whole lot of science to support that. And let's not forget that beer is mostly water. This is a very common cure, because you're in a restaurant, the first thing you reach for when your mouth's on fire could be a beer. As always, the boys hold their chili for 10 seconds. Wait an agonizing half minute. It's pretty hot. Then reach for relief. <laughs> Can I get another one? <clears throat> What was your rating on beer? Uh, what did I rate water? Three. I think I'd rate it about the same. Is it as good as milk? I would give it... I'm gonna give it a four. Spirits are around eight times stronger than beer. So if the theory holds true, tequila should be eight times more effective. But Tori has his doubts. Tequila burns your mouth, so it could actually make this... the whole burning sensation, um worse. He's about to learn to trust his instincts. What's your rating? <laughs> One to ten. Uh, hotter. It intensifies it. <gasps> One to ten. Where are you at? Ah, negative twenty. But both of them swished before they swallowed. Once the numbness kicks in, they revise the ratings. Tori gives tequila a four and Grant a three. I think tequila is a cure for hot, spicy mouth the way it's a cure for ugly. It just numbs it a little bit. Look at them. They look like they're all right. And that's the last of what we like to call the conventional cures. One recovery day later and Carrie has the first questionable cure. Well, 
The idea is that the gel toothpaste has a higher sugar content. You put it at the apex of your tongue, and it should cool your whole mouth. Tori and Grant pray that toothpaste won't be torture. But it's not looking likely. My mouth's on fire! That's like when you have a cut and you pour Tabasco sauce on it. You do that? No, I'm just saying, like, have you ever done that? No? No. <laughs> okay, maybe it's just me. This did not work at all. Toothpaste? Toothpaste stays in the bathroom, not on the dinner table. Something else you rarely reach for at dinner is petroleum jelly. Uh, nobody's explained exactly why this is supposed to help, but it'll be a miracle if it does. My prediction is that we are going to get dry heaves. I think somebody is going to get close to vomiting. Now there's a pep talk for you. Carrie saved two of the most disgusting, most insane remedies till the very end. So far, Tori and Grant have suffered and sweated through a bunch of so-called cures for hot, chilly mouth. Yeah, that did the exact opposite of relieving the pain. None of them worked as well as milk. And the final two risky remedies sound more like torture than relief. The first is petroleum jelly. Uh, Wait a minute, there's a hair in mine. The jelly is oil-based, so it should work. But the boys can't get past that extra texture. That doesn't work at all. It's just nasty. Tori rates it a two, and Grant gives it a one. Four points worse than milk. That test was disgusting. That lived up to all my expectations, which were none. And there's no relief in sight. Unless wasabi proves you really can fight fire with fire. My prediction for this cure, pain and lots of it. Carrie's doing this last sadistic test one victim at a time. And Tori's the first to watch and worry. <laughs> How does your mouth feel? I forgot about the chili. How do you rate wasabi? <sighs> it's gotta be, it's like minus 10, minus 100. Strong, hysterical words from a man who's clearly reached his limits. Now it's Tori's turn to test his. It's kind of nice. It's kind of like a Mexican-Japanese fusion. Unbelievable. Tori not only rates wasabi a three for pain relief, he actually enjoyed it. All right, so wasabi. Yeah, it's like... It... Surprise hit over here, total misery over here. I cannot believe that. I know, it's weird. It is weird. There's no accounting for taste or tolerance. But there's one thing both boys agree on. Nothing beats full-fat milk as a hot chili cure. 